Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and I recently just got the Dell XPS 15, the 2017 model, and everything was working fine when I first got it, but lately I've been having Wi-Fi issues. Now, unfortunately, this is kind of common for this line, and Dell continues to put the killer Wi-Fi card in their XPS line. No idea why. Pretty terrible decision. They must just have thousands of them lying around that they just need to use or they have a deal lined up. But uh, instead of wasting my time with Dell support, researching stuff up online for hours, uh, my time is better spent doing other stuff. So I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna buy a Wi-Fi chip on Amazon and a $6 tool and I'm gonna fix it myself. This video is in no way excusing Dell from this. This is unacceptable whenever you pay $1,500 plus for a laptop, you should get a good Wi-Fi card that works without you having to fix it or whatever. I have tried uploading drivers and uploading, or yeah, uploading, updating drivers, updating Windows 10, all that stuff, nothing works. So I just figured, you know what, quick solution, we're just gonna swap it out. And so the Wi-Fi chip that I do have uh, is the Intel Wireless AC9260. Look at that, that's all it is. That small little chip right there. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to swap it out Again, this is the Dell XPS 15. Um, pretty much all the models are very similar. And so to do this, you need to make sure you have a small Phillips head screwdriver, and then you have to have a T5 Torx screwdriver. And please don't try to use a Phillips head and a Torx screw because you're just gonna mess it up and strip the screw and then you'll never get your XPS open. All right, so all around here are all of your T5 screws. And then under this flap right here, your Dell XPS little icon flap, uh, where it has all your computer information. These are where your two Phillips head screws are. So I'll remove all these and I'll be right back. All right, now that we took out all the screws, uh, what you have to do is just kind of work your way around the sides and slowly uh, pull up the bottom part of the case and it will just kind of pop off. And once you take it off, you get to see the wonderful inside of this machine. And so um, here at the bottom is the battery and then up here at the top right, we actually have our Wi-Fi card. And so there's another screw, so I'm gonna turn this around. We're gonna zoom in the camera, that way you guys have a little better view. So like I said, right here is the actual uh, Wi-Fi card, and we have one tiny little screw that's kind of holding it in place. And so we're gonna undo this, and I have to set this down so I don't drop it and lose everything. So we're gonna do this. And this is kind of what holds it down set that to the side. And so make sure you don't have any static electricity going because you can fry a lot of stuff very easily. And so here, like I said, is the card. And then if you look, see, we'll flip it back around so you can read. We got the main power and the auxiliary. Now these colors might not match up with what's on the, uh, Intel one, they're actually backwards, but just know that the main is always on this side and then the auxiliary is always on this side. So we will pull out the card from the actual board, if I can get a hold of it. Just like that, it should just come out fairly easily. And then just take the two different cords off and they should just pop off as well. And so I'm just gonna set this to the side. I have the hold of the cords. Um, and so I'm just gonna plug it, this card in the same way that the others were. All right, and so again, just to show you guys a little bit closer and clearer, this camera angle is not the easiest thing to manage. Um, we got the power main connected to the main, auxiliary into auxiliary, and then you take the card, and there's a little pin where you can see right here where you're gonna put into the furthest most slot, and this is hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna have to set the computer back down. And you just line it up. And then you just press the card back into the same slot and it'll click. And then you take this little stopper that you had before and you're gonna set it on top of the card and then you're gonna screw it back in. And so you're gonna put this screw back in, then you're gonna put the back plate back on, all the torque screws and all the Phillips and then it should all be assembled again. Then we're gonna boot it back up and see if we have internet. All right, so restarted. Uh, Word of advice, download the Intel drivers before you take out your, your old card, not after you put the new card in, you don't have access to, it, to the internet, unless you can hardwire an ethernet cable um, to your computer through USB-C or an ethernet port. 
Um, and if Casey, your little squeals, Everly is now uh, narrating this video <laughs> behind the camera. We'll go to speedtest.net. Here we go. And we'll hit go. And we're off. Oh my, holy smokes. I'm getting speeds of 50 down. <laughs> I never had that here before. With the old card, I was getting like 30 tops. And so um, this is proof that it works and it works better than the killer card. So if you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. Pretty sure this doesn't avoid any type of warranty or anything, but you should keep your killer card around just in case you have to return this to Dell for some other unforeseen reason. Uh, but if this helped you out, leave this video a like and subscribe for more videos from me. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys know my results uh, after a couple weeks on Twitter or something like that if you are more interested in a follow-up on this. Oh, is that true? Okay. <laughs> and so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Social links are all down in the description below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. You and your hiccups. Yeah, there's lights. There's lights. There's a camera. You got to smile. Nope, there's lights. Will you smile if you have a computer? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, let's touch the fit. Yeah, yeah. Let's touch the expensive computer and hit all the keys at once. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, okay. Oh, oh now we're into the options and the menus. Okay.